So this is a project that was commissioned by the BBC. They asked us to go out and to sample the environment around the city of Coventry um, and indoor environments as well, to look at the diversity and the number of bacterial species that are out there and to try and identify um, disease transmission hotspots. So who undertook this work was our own students. They were perfect because they had the skills to be able to undertake this. Through this project I used uh, my skills of inoculating the bacteria, the microorganisms, isolating them and then identification of it. So this will be helpful in my future career because after my degree I'm planning to be a microbiologist and the skills will be really helpful to me in my future. We um, just did like a normal bacteria streak. So we put the swab in a um, broth and then we um, swapped it. I left it for incubate for about two or three days at 37 degrees and then we were looking at the plates. Um, so parts of the outside environment that we did actually sample were pedestrian crossings, wheelie bins, handrails and what we found was a very low level of microbial contamination really just normal skin commensals. Then when we actually moved into buildings, we saw an increase in the numbers of bacteria and an increase in the diversity of bacteria as well. And I just found it really fascinating because we've got all this lovely equipment that we use and um, just the work itself in the lab, I just found it really fascinating. So the facilities available in Coventry University Laboratory is amazing. Uh, we, we have Super Lab, which have all the high-tech technologies, uh, which I expect to be in the work environment. Interestingly, when we actually looked at uh, public toilets, unisex toilets in particular, the most stark finding that we found was the highest microbial contamination in the unisex toilets was coming out. The door handle leaving the toilet had a range of different microorganisms on there and microorganisms that you would associate with fecal contamination and those that can cause urinary tract infections. So that's showing that some people are just not washing their hands when they leave the toilet. One of the interesting results we found, the old wives tale is you shouldn't be putting coins in your mouth and coins can transmit uh, pathogens and microorganisms. But from testing the coins, we actually found little or no microbiological contamination. And one of the factors there is that metal, the type of formite that metal is, bacteria find it very hard to actually attach there and to grow. And also many metals are actually antimicrobial. A number of studies have been done around hospitals where they actually change door handles to uh, specific metals such as copper because of that antimicrobial activity, hopefully to reduce the transmission of bacteria around uh, the hospital environment.